Okay, so I'm gonna use this hacksaw to cut through that bracket and that bracket right there. This will take a minute. Dedication. That's the uh, the old exhaust pipe section. Like that. I can see. I gotta get the old hanger out there. If we go down there, I cleared that one. And there's the, the header where I'm plugging the exhaust pipe into. Right there. Okay. All right, I got the new muffler in. You can see, like that. The trick with these little footballs, as you might be able to tell, is to put Vaseline all over the rod and smash some in the hole. That way it'll go and install easily. The same exact thing is true. That's why it looks all greasy like that up here. You just want to cover that rod with some kind of lubricant, soap or Vaseline, whatever you want, to allow it to slide into that little rubber football, whatever that exhaust hanger is called. Here you can see I've used a jack and jack stands. These jack stands are important for safety. You don't want your car coming down and crushing you while you're working under it. Looking this way, we can see the exhaust tube network coming back from the resonator. It goes up and back, and there's the joint for the new exhaust pipe. This up and around like that. Coming down from up here. So there's the back of the new muffler. We follow that pipe around and it just gets right down there like that. grinder and a hacksaw to cut these these mounts off you can see it got real hot that purple color change there iron changes color when it gets really hot and you can see the precision ground joint that was the grinding wheel on the Metabo um, angle grinder you can see the end of that mount there too that was the hacksaw that did that. This was the cheap adapter that I had the exhaust shop install when my muffler and catalytic converter were stolen. A reminder that when you attenuate this little nut to release pressure on a hydraulic floor jack, do so gently, watch here, just like this. You don't want to let the car down violently. Smooth and steady is the trick. Just like that until the wheel touches down. Then just like that. Okay. When you tighten it up, tighten it firm. Okay, give it, tighten it nice and firm. That locks it closed, keeps the hydraulic system closed. All right, one trick you might use, you see how far we've got to go there? You just get it roughly in position, and then with your finger, you can actually just go like this and raise up the jack, just like that. It doesn't require a lot of force just to lift it into place. What we gotta do is free this other jack stand here. What we're aiming for is that steel rail right there. Once we get onto that hard point there, 
Then we switch over to the lever because the lever is a force multiplier and that allows us to crank it up. And what we're going for here, we gotta crank it up enough like that to pull, not quite, there we go, pull the jack stand out. 